in guys it's Brianna with the inevitable book haul again the first book I have here is the fifth book in a series I don't have any of the other ones yet but this is a really popular book series on booktube right now um, so I couldn't resist it was only 50 cents it is timeless by Gail Carringer yes um, this is the fifth book in the Parasol Protectorate series. I don't know if you what you classify it as maybe paranormal romance. I think it's an adult series. But yeah, there's other four other books in the series. But this is the one I found. So I got it. But I can't read it. Sorcery and Celia or the Enchanted Chocolate Pot by Patricia C. Reed and Caroline Stevermer. Stevermer. I've heard a lot of good things about the Patricia C. Reed author. I have some of her uh, books already. I haven't read them yet, but this seems kind of like Pride and Prejudice with magic or something. Kind of like that time period with like sorcery and magic and it sounds pretty interesting and it was in very good condition. I got this from a, a used library shelf and it like looks almost brand new. So. I was pretty happy about that and I'm looking forward to reading this one. The next one that I got was in pretty good condition as well and it is adding to my classic collection and it is actually classic I'm interested in reading. A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett illustrated by Tasha Tudor. I love illustrated classics and it, they just bring so much more to the story I feel like and I loved this movie as a kid. I still enjoy watching it to this day and this was in pretty good condition so I'm looking forward to eventually reading this classic. This next one I picked up at a library book sale um, and I did not own a copy of this book yet but it is another classic and it's an of great um, cool looking hardbound one version. It is Alice and Wonderland and through Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll and the original illustrations by John Tenniel. And the hardback has the white rabbit, and then the end papers have beautiful color illustrations on both sides. It is a little beat up, um, but there's illustrated uh, colored and black and white illustrations throughout. And I have read Alice in Wonderland before, but I did not own a copy. But I'm not sure if I've read through the looking glass yet or not. But now I have both of them in this cool um, antique looking hardcover so I couldn't resist picking it up. The next one I got, kind of got on a whim because I would seen the cover before and it intrigued me. It is Midnight Magic by AVI. This is another middle grade I believe. Um, and it just has this kind of old renaissance-y look to it. Um, kind of sounds like a historical mystery type of a thing. And I love some of AVI's other books so... Um, I think this one will be an interesting read. The Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson. I did see somebody haul this in a previous video a long time ago. I don't remember who it was. I'm sorry. Um, but it has black edged pages. And I think it takes place in World War II or something. But cover, seriously. Love is as strong as death, as hard as hell. And it's about a man in a war who is the burn victim and the nurse that nurses him back to health and how they fall in love and it just sounds like a really cool story and the cover is fantastic. The Little Bookworm by Eleanor Fragerin, illustrated by Edward Adizon. Probably butchered both those names but this was originally a collection of short stories for children chosen by herself. So I think it's sort of like a bunch of fairy tales, um, like original fairy tales by this author. Um, and it's called The Little Book Room, so it kind of made me think of a book for book lovers, so I'm excited to pick this up. The next one is Geek Magnet by Kiernan Scott. Um, this just sounded like a, this just sounded like a fun contemporary, kind of a filler between like a fantasy or dystopian book um, that will lighten my mood, so. Thought it would be fun to have. Next two I'm super excited about because I've already read them so I'm I know that I have got a good deal on these. So the first one is the paperback version of Daughter and Smoke and Bone. I originally uh, heard this story on audiobook 
and I was taken completely by surprise by its beauty and poetic uh, literary voice, I guess. Uh, completely loved it. I have not read it in print yet, but I read the last two books in print, and I really wanted a print version of the first book because it is my favorite, and I love it so much. And so now I have it on my shelf, and it is in very good condition, so I'm happy that I found this. And then the second one I found at the same store, unfortunately it did not have the dust jacket, but that's okay. It is in great condition, and it was the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Elena Taylor. This is Days of Blood and Starlight. Um, a very good continuation to the series. Not as good as the first, in my opinion, but very happy to have this as well, even without a dust jacket. Here, Christianity by C.S. Lewis. I love um, the Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis, and I tried reading the Screw Tape Letters by him and couldn't get into it, but I kind of read a little bit of this, and I think it will be easier to get into. As it is a nonfiction, it seems like more direct writing and stuff. So, uh, some of his work I've liked, some of his work I haven't. So I'm interested to see what I'll think of this. It's not very long. It's another contemporary, Viola in real life. And she's making a movie or something. I don't really remember what it's about, but it sounded good. So, not super long. I got that one. This is by Adriana Trigani. Next to our arcs that I got from my arc shelf at the place by where I work. And the first one, it might be a middle grade, but I'm not completely sure. The cover just kind of reminds me of a middle grade story. It is Valiant by Sarah McGuire, and this is like a fairy tale-ish type of story. I don't think it's a retelling, but I'm not sure. Um, this comes out June 15th. This is by Sarah McGuire. And it has a purple cover, so I'm all about the purple. But, oh, and I'm all about fairy tales as well. So I'm excited to read this one. It is In the Time of Dragon Moon by Janet Lee Carey. And uh, I just read the synopsis and thought it sounded good. It's about this girl in the forest and this guy she meets who turns into a dragon and they have to like save the kingdom or something, I don't actually know, but it sounded good, and I hadn't heard of this before I saw it, and so, branching out, not always reading the hype stuff, so hopefully I'll be picking this up um, in the next couple days of March, and then it'll be the first thing I'm reading in April as well. Next one, I found a thrift store for like a dollar or two and I was completely shocked because it came out last year but it came out like late last year like in the fall or winter of 2014 and it is an autobiography it is Neil Patrick Harris's create your own autobiography and I love Neil Patrick Harris I think he is hilarious and so when I saw this at the thrift store at this brand new hardback it was there for cheap I couldn't resist picking it up I have read a little bit of it before I got like a free chapter preview thing on um, ebook or whatever. Um, so I have read like the beginning. So I'm excited to continue on with my choose your own autobiography and seeing how it ends up. It should be a good time because normally I don't like autobiographies, but it's Neil Patrick Harris and it's like a choose your own. So I'm very intrigued. So these are all the books I got, guys. It's quite a lot. But, I regret nothing. Mostly I regret nothing. But I'm going to put these down because they're going to fall on my face. So those are all my books. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. That is Breeze Books for you. Book haul number jeepers. Way too many in the upper teens now. And I will see you in my next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.